custom of hospitality. But Jesus was always taking an opportunity to teach a lesson. And so he took what was a custom of hospitality because those who were traveled would have dusty feet and their feet would be tired. And so who, whomever house you went to, they would wash your feet to relax you. <laughs> but Jesus took a moment of hospitality to teach a lesson about servanthood. And he said to his disciples, really, I'm calling you to serve the lowest part of man, and that is his feet. And I'm sending you forth as servants to serve the lowest. It's no problem serving important people. But Jesus says, I want you to serve the feet. Nobody looks at your feet and says, you've got pretty feet. They look at your face and say, your face is pretty. Usually your feet are hidden. Your feet carry pressure and burdens. And Jesus said, I'm sending you forth to wash the feet of men, to care for their burdens and to care for where they hurt. And unless you can serve the feet, you can have no part of me. And really, Peter's response to him was, Lord, you're not washing my feet. <laughs> Jesus said, if I don't wash your feet, then you'll have no part of me. In other words, you must enter into my suffering. You must do it my way. I'm, I'm teaching you what you need to do to win the world. And so he girded himself with a towel, which is the symmetry of why we wear the girdles around our waist or the ropes around our waist. It, it represents servanthood. The girdle represents it holds things together, but it calls you to service. And so tonight I'm going to wash an elder's feet and an elder is going to wash a deacon's feet. And a deacon is going to wash a layman's feet. That means everybody is to be served. And that nobody in the body of Christ is to go untouched. Servanthood is about serving not only when it's well, but when it's not well. Jesus said that he that is great among you, let him be a servant of all.
he sends us out as disciples into the world to duplicate the same love that he so shared and he loved and he cared for his flock. And by this shall all men know that you are my disciples if we have love one toward the other. Thank God. Oh.